Hey everyone, it's Ethan Ormus back again for another video today and welcome back to the channel guys. We're here again uh, for yet another Funko video and it's it's a small one but it's a massive one uh, at the same time. So we've got only two pops for today's video but I figured it would be pretty dope because uh, we have two 10 inch pops to add to the collection today which is actually uh, number six and number seven for me. Well actually it's number five and number seven so uh, you know what? We'll, uh, we'll start it and, uh, well, yeah, let's get into it. So we'll go to number five first, which is probably my favorite of the two. Uh, here we have the Black Light Galactus with Silver Surfer. This is so, so, so sick. I, you guys know, I love, love, love the Black Light Pops. These are, and of course, the boxes are absolutely beautiful. Uh, this is, of course, from the new Fantastic Four set that I think came out last year. Uh, and I had bought this from Comic Hunter a long time ago. Like, it is, I've had this for months. I've just never gotten around to making a video about it. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I mean, here it is, obviously, now. I absolutely love the color scheme of Galactus and Silver Surfer. And actually, when you take this out of the box, uh, you can put Silver Surfer in Galactus's hand, which is so awesome. Uh, and of course, Fantastic Four is going to be a big part of the MCU here soon. Uh, and I'm really, really excited to see, hopefully, a good rendition of the Fantastic Four. And of course, Galactus, Galactus is a major, major Marvel vision, uh, villain Sorry, that I'm hoping to see soon enough. So, uh, of course, this is a PX exclusive. Oh, man, it's hard to, it's hard to carry just because of how heavy and big it is. So, let's take a look at how much this bad boy is currently worth. I've never actually checked, I don't think. So... Uh, of course, there are two different versions of this pop. Uh, there's, of course, the Glow Chase, which that's pretty expensive, and that's it's also very cool. Uh, the Glow Chase is is worth $114, but this one right here uh, is currently worth $44, and I definitely paid more for that. I mean, that sticker right there is $60, unfortunately, but uh, I mean, I'm okay with that. This is a pop I really wanted. I don't think I would have gone out of my way to actually buy it. Uh, like, I definitely don't think I would have ordered it from somewhere, but I had seen it in store and I really, really wanted to pick it up. And like I said, I had got it from Comic Hunter and they actually had the regular version of this Galactus there as well. Uh, so just the regular jumbo size Galactus with, uh, the Silver Surfer. Uh, but yeah, a really, really cool pop. And again, you guys know how much I love these black light pops. Uh, and yeah, I'm really, really excited about this one. I love the boxes so much. They're very, very cool, uh, and this is one that uh, I kind of want to take out of the box. I kind of want to take all my 10 inches out of their boxes because uh, I think they'll be really, really sweet, uh, and the movie mo moments ones as well. That would be very, very cool. So yeah, I mentioned that this is actually number five. Um, I believe this was the fifth one I had, so or that I got. So the, the first one I'd ever got was... Uh, Endgame Thanos, That's my, or we're talking about 10 inches here, so the first 10 inch I'd ever got was uh, uh, Endgame Thanos, then the second one was, I believe, Grogu, um, and then the third one, I believe, was The Mandalorian Holding Grogu, and then my fourth one was The Superman, uh, then my fifth one was this one, and then my sixth one was uh, the Batman, uh, of course, from the new movie, The Batman. And uh, number seven here is the other pop in today's video. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that is right. So uh, number seven here is uh, Iron Man from Avengers Age of Ultron, which I think is a severely underrated movie. Uh, I think it is overhated as well. And this one also glows in the dark. So we've got a PX exclusive black light pop and we've got a glow in the dark or uh, EB Games or GameStop exclusive uh, glow in the dark. So that's pretty cool. I never even really thought about that. But uh, yeah, you know what? I, I'd seen this at EB Game or GameStop now, I guess. It used to be EB Games where I'm at, but now it's GameStop. So nonetheless, uh, I'd seen this yesterday and I picked it up immediately because I definitely wanted to add it to the collection. Uh, a pricey pop, but of course, I mean, you can kind of expect that with the 10 inches, uh, but a very cool pop nonetheless, and I didn't realize until I got home yesterday, but I actually already have this pop. I just have it in the regular size, 
Uh, my uh, One of my best friends, Ryan, you guys have heard me talk about Ryan a, f a bunch of times. Uh, he actually gave me this loose Iron Man uh, from Age of Ultron. I never even realized it's the same pop. So now I have it in the regular for 4.5, 5 inches. And uh, the 10 inch or the jumbo size, which is pretty cool. Uh, I do plan on making a video about my loose pops eventually, but I think that's very cool. I love to get that Iron Man actually in a box. Uh, but yeah, so there is a sticker on here. Let me see if I can get this off real quick. Uh, these EB Game stickers uh, aren't too bad. Uh, this was also very expensive. This was, uh, I think with tax, it ended up being like 68 bucks or something. So uh, let's take a look at how much this one is currently worth. Uh, so this Iron Man is currently worth $64. I can add it to the collection. It came out in 2021, and it is currently available. So very, very cool. Uh, the glow in the dark is pretty cool too. It's basically just the arc reactor, uh, Tony's eyes and the helmet, and uh, all the uh, smoke from the suit, which is pretty cool. I just want to make sure. Yeah. All right. There we go. So, yeah, that's a very, very cool pop. And I'm really starting to run out of room for 10 inches. I mean, I don't really plan on buying many 10 inches. The only other 10 inch I really want is Infinity War Thanos. So hopefully one day I'll be able to get my hands on that. I've seen it on Amazon before, which is pretty expensive. So yeah, there we go, guys. These are the two 10 inch pops of today's video. Uh, very, very cool. Let me know which one is your favorite, of course, to Marvel 10 inches. So uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.